So today, we're gonna to talk about how to write a comic book script. Welcome to Inner Warrior, where we help you become who you wanna be, live the life you wanna live, enjoy the adventure that is your life, and unleash your inner warrior to do so. So today, we're gonna to talk about how to make a comic book script. And first thing to think about is, it has to be easy to read, right? Because this script is gonna to go to an artist, and an artist has to understand all the ideas you're putting on the page. You want them to be able to understand what they have to draw, um, how to draw the characters, and how to write the dialogue for when you give it to a letterer, right? Because this is gonna to go to an artist and then a letterer. So it's very important to make it easy to read, right? So first, you're gonna break down your story by pages. Each page is gonna have panels. And the panels are gonna have descriptions of the images of what's gonna be in the panel. Then the panels are also gonna have inside of that dialogue, what character's talking and what they're saying. Also, sound effects, your kabooms, your blam, your zap, all that. Right? So you gotta make it easy to read. So let's talk about the formatting, right? Because we get the idea that we have to break it down. Now let's talk about how to format that, right? So to do that, I'm gonna make a mock script right here on the, on the page, well, on the whiteboard. So let's say this is page one of the script. So at the very top, we're gonna have one. This tells the artist in the letter, this is that this is the first page, right? Very important. Then we're gonna break down the first panel. So we're gonna say panel one, living room, interior, and let's say uh, daytime. Tony's in front of the whiteboard. Tony in front of whiteboard. Right? Give it a little description so the artist knows what he's drawing. Then let's say there's gonna be some dialogue. So we're gonna say one, meaning this is the first piece of dialogue that's going on. The character name, Tony, right? And a colon there, and we're gonna space out, and we're gonna have the dialogue over here. So pretend this is like a, some tabs on the computer, tap, tab. And so what, what am I gonna say? What's Tony gonna say? Uh, welcome to Inner Warrior. Now, let's say there was a, a second character. Let's say um, the cameraman. Cameraman, Colin, and then his dialogue. Uh, get some tabs. Hey, Tony, let's reshoot that. So this makes it easy for when you have a letterer to see, okay, Tony's talking and he's saying this much. I got to put this much in a, a dialogue box. Or if it was a thought, it would be a thought bubble, right? So let's, let's say we have a, a thought right now. Look, actually, let's go on panel two. We're gonna show panel two and then we're gonna have uh, Tony's character thinking. So. Panel two. Uh, Tony, Tony puts his hand to his chin, thinking, right? Now we're gonna have thoughts. So number one, because it's the first piece of lettering that has to be done. I say thought, colon, some tabs, and Oh man, again, right? So that, then now you have a thought. And you would do this until you get to panel four. Panel four would be, or panel five, six, depending on how much you wanna have on one page. Now, let's say we're gonna do a second page. On the top of that page, we put two. This is the second page. So you see, this is kind of how you format it. So this is, 
page one, page two, it makes it easy. You see how it makes it easy for the artist and for the letterer? So they can see what, what has to be drawn, what has to be lettered, and that way it's very nice and easy and it, it makes the job easier on both your artist and your letterer. Now, let's say page one doesn't fit on one page, right? Like how do we say, okay, the next page is not page two, it's actually be the continuation of page one. Well then what we do is at the bottom of page one, we're gonna say page one continue on next page, right? And then at the top of this page, instead of writing two, because it's not gonna be page two, it's actually page one, continue. So that way, your artist and your letter will know, okay, the next page is still part of page one of the comic. Now, you can see that the in each panel, there is numbers, and the numbers represent what's gonna be lettered, so it could be on character dialogue, it could be thoughts, or it could be sound effects. And to do that, we would do it like this. So let's say this is a continuation of panel two, right, uh, over here. So we're gonna have, instead of one, it's gonna be two, and it's gonna be SFX for sound effects. And we'll say zap. So that's how you format a comic book script. And if you just continue doing this for one, two, three, all the way to whatever comic book page you end on. And that's how it's all done. So if you like this, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can see the, the other videos that we're gonna release. We're gonna talk more about comic books, we're gonna talk about mindset, we're gonna talk about law of attraction, we're gonna talk about just every tool that you need so that you can become who you wanna be, live the life you wanna live, and enjoy the adventure that is your life by unleashing your inner warrior. And I also created a series where we look at superheroes and the lessons that we learn from them, so how we can apply those lessons to our lives. And you can check that out in the playlist over here.